These bitches ain't shit. And y'all niggas ain't evil. But my next um pet peeve. I hate when somebody comments some shit or asks a question about some shit that would have easily been answered had they just watched the intro to the video. I can't stand that <laughs> shit at all. <laughs> I can't stand that shit, bro. Now, don't get me wrong. With a channel like mine, the um, the uh, the promoted songs, I never expect niggas to like to watch that. So niggas who like skip the intro to skip past the song, I completely get it. That ain't the issue. But if you watch my videos, just a few of them, you'll notice that I always say, all right, so boom, I say what the video is, what it's about, and then I got some witty segue into the song, and then I say this again to the video, whoop de whoop some niggas, they skip the entire intro and go straight to, like, the number one entry, which I understand why niggas do. You want to get straight to the shit. I get it. But a nigga with comments saying, like, complaining about a certain thing, I'm like, your question would have been answered had you just watched the video. Like, this actually happened a couple of weeks. This is actually back in October, not a couple of weeks ago. I'm tripping. Back in October. Now, in my honest opinion, I don't think that my tears for my Every Song Rank series are that hard to understand like <laughs> i make it <laughs> fucking very clear like all, part one all the songs i don't like part two all the songs by the artists i do like and then hey, with man, the- don't, don't alienate the mom <laughs> 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 no nah, like the nigga who commented this shit i think he he had to be brand new like to that type of style but even then so like part one i'll say even though i don't like the song i'll say whether or not it's trash it's all right or if it's actually good same thing for part two a nigga, oh, this be the J. Cole video. This was the main one I hate. A nigga comment on the J. Cole video talking about, I can't believe you had the nerve to uh put like uh, a tale of two cities or January 28th uh, in this video. Like that shit, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm like, you acting like I'm calling the, the song trash. I'm like, I didn't call it trash at all. I just said I don't like it. And then he was like, you pretty much calling it trash by saying you don't like it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not what that <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not what that means. <laughs> like, the not the not my style tier is me literally saying the song is good. I understand why other people fuck with it. I myself just not really that much like entertained by the song, so I don't listen to it like that. That he was like, oh my fault, I didn't know. I'm like, did you watch the intro to the video while I explained the tier? He was like, no, nah, I just went straight to the first song. I'm like, okay then, nigga. <laughs> it be people like that. It be people like that that I can't stand. That's that's sad as fuck, man. A nigga would I, skip straight past the intro, run straight to the comments, then be like, "I said you'd be like, I said that in the intro." They be all oh, my fault. I didn't watch it. I'm like, "All right, bro." Yeah, I can't. Nah, it's uh, nah. I I I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, that's uh, I can't. I can't sit here and tell myself that. I would be too mad at that because look, I <laughs> fully expect niggas. Niggas are lazy, dude. Like even my loyal subscribers, they're fucking lazy, bro. I told you straight up. There was a nigga. I think his name was Josh too, but uh, not the not the Josh that I was hating on last video. I'm talking about it's like a whole new Josh, but mm-hmm. motherfucker pull up to my video. I mean, this shit got uploaded two minutes ago. He talking about something that happened at the fucking last minute. I'm like, how? <laughs> The fuck do you know what I'm talking about? You dead ass skip to the fucking last part to to tell to act like you knew what was going on, but bro, you didn't even finesse it right. You fucking did the shit too early. I, at least wait ten minutes and then do it. You didn't even fucking wait. You just fucking did the shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Two minutes in, bro. You too overzealous. Like, you didn't even prove to me that you was a real fan. Like I never, I never fucking hearted a comment from that nigga again. I never fucking commented to him. I never liked the comment from him again. Like, bro, you dead to me, nigga. Like, you fucking snitched on yourself and told me that you fucking skipped. I don't fucking care about you at all. Fuck you. I'm crying. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I stand by that shit for sure. If you're going to skip the intro, please don't complain about certain shit or saying you don't understand the explanation behind something. Like, especially for my video, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. You'll get the gist of it after watching a few I always explain what a video is about in the intro. So don't skip past it and then complain or say, I don't understand like this or this. I'm like, just watch the first like 60 fucking seconds and you will get it. But uh, um, another pet peeve I have is when, you know what I'm saying? I go into a comment section and I see 
you know what I'm saying, that a fucking opinion just easily turns into an argument. Like a, you know what I'm saying, like a, like something that can be debated just turns into an argument. Like, you know what I'm saying, niggas, niggas, you know what I'm saying, like you can't, you can't have a friendly conversation with somebody without them thinking that oh, something that you said is hating. Like, I've had too many occasions to where I've ran into people in the comment section and they disagree with something I said. I said, oh, well, tell me why. And they, it started all friendly, you know what I'm saying? They tell me why, and then I have a rebuttal, and they're saying, oh, that doesn't make any fucking sense, because here's what I think. I'm just like, <laughs> well, what, what the fuck? Like, wait, wait a minute now. Like, what is this turning into? Because all I'm saying is what I'm saying. Like, you have an opinion. I have an opinion. So why is it when I say my opinion, and it sounds like it's right, or it, maybe you just you just so think it's wrong, but you think that I need to believe that it's wrong, to so at the fact that it's like, oh, Oh, you just you just fucking oblivious to the fact that you're wrong. It's like, bro, like we can debate without it turning into a fucking scuffle. It's too many instances like that, and especially the case where you're making a video about a, a a popular artist. Like you can't get away with that shit. You're gonna you're gonna run into at least about fucking more well, my standards about fucking ten people in the comment section like that. That where you, you know, what I'm saying. You can have an opinion. It just is, you got to walk on fucking landmines talking to them and shit. <laughs> Where it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't offend them and be like, oh, like with Playboy Cardi, for instance. It's like, oh, I don't like the baby voice. And then someone could be like, oh, I understand that. And I'm like, eh, at me was trash. And they'd be like, oh, at me actually wasn't trash. I'm like, nigga, you just said the baby voice was kind of garbage. <laughs> you understood. Like, why are you turning your back on me now? Like, what the fuck? You know, I, I don't know. I just don't agree with when people have to defend the hell out of out of nothing they can't just debate like debating and argument is so much different i would rather you debate with me than you to argue with me i don't want to argue with nobody i would love to just get into some heated ass debates for sure for sure yeah because it definitely becomes a point where you y'all having like a civil conversation to where it's like y'all just talk the shit to each other <laughs> after a point <laughs> It's, it's, and it, it, it always happens, bro. It never, like, <laughs> there, there are some rare occasions where it's like, oh, okay, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Okay, word, word. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. Nah, niggas, when niggas got to be right. You know, it's like, bro, I don't care to be right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I even admit when I'm wrong. But these motherfuckers out here, when you go after their favorite artists, oh, they want to have facts on their favorite artists and they want to defend them to the highest, the highest standard. Cause it's like, Oh, if I'm wrong about them, then I'm not a real fan. Like you're attacking their fucking character. It's like, dude, you're still who you are. If you don't, if you weren't right about your fucking favorite artist, they don't give a fuck. And they're not even in, they don't even know that the fucking video was uploaded. You know what I'm saying? Like for every Playboy Cardi video or Nicki Minaj video I've ever uploaded, I do a hundred percent doubt. I, I, I know I'm going to go to my grave knowing that I never met Nicki Minaj and that I never met Playboy Cardi. Onika Mirage and Jordan Carter will not fucking meet you either, okay? You motherfuckers, def you know what I'm saying? I'm Actually, we're going to leave that for later. <laughs> <laughs> trust me. I, like I said, it's, it's tons of clip in the fucking gun right now. Tons of ammo. All right, for sure. Let me think of a second one then. Now, not a second one, another pet peeve. This is something that I see other YouTubers do often. And I will never do this, and I stand by it. When people tell you that you should blur out somebody's username to protect their privacy when you're taking something they say and put it in a video. Let's say if you saw somebody talk about something on Twitter and you want to use that tweet to talk about it in a new video you got, you know, you'll screenshot the tweet and be like, you like, yeah, I was I was scrolling through Twitter one day and I saw somebody say this. Some people, like, they'll just, but they'll blur out the person's username or at so, you know, I ain't trying to have people, like, look up this person to, like, blah, 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 like, uh, attack them or something like that. I would never do that. In my opinion, especially a fucking public place like Twitter or Instagram, whatever, once you put something on social media, especially if your account not protected, <laughs> that means you don't care who comes across it. Like, that's an open platform for anybody and everybody in the world to come across your shit. So if you say something on Twitter and I want to put it in the video, I'm not blocking out your name because you said it and you're going to stand by this shit. So... Of course, like, it, it's never been a situation where somebody fucking attacked somebody on Twitter. I'm like, oh, I came from an Amir video. <laughs> like, it was, no shit like that has ever happened. I don't think it ever will. But <laughs> to, to your knowledge, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> to your knowledge. If I saw somebody, I don't it's know. Probably, it's, it's, probably, 
It's probably a whole nigga that was defending you and got his ass beat in a parking lot and you never heard from again or some shit. <laughs> I love the cause of that shit. Now I gotta live with that on my conscience. But shit, shit. Uh, it was like I don't know if a nigga was like on Twitter talking about you know a simple, a simple thing like uh, like Drake being an overrated uh, artist, whatever. Like if you if you tweet that shit, like Drake is the most overrated artist of all time, blah blah blah. I'm gonna screenshot what you said. And I'm gonna put that shit in the video so I can talk about my stance, my opinion on it. I'm not about to blow out your name and be like and sugarcoat it. Be like, oh, I saw somebody on Twitter say this. Like, I'm gonna screenshot the tweet. I'm gonna put that shit in the video. So if niggas come after you, be like, yeah, uh, I saw a YouTube video. You said Drake was overrated. If some people be like, oh, you exposing this person's privacy? Ain't no fucking pol- uh, privacy. They put it on Twitter <laughs> where anybody right. can see it. So you better and you and you said it, nigga. Don't fucking change your mind. Or try to backtrack because people coming after you. Nah, bro. Like yeah. back back up what you said. And, and, and what the fuck do y'all mean by privacy? Because you, because look, 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 the most you don't know about the motherfucker is his name. You acting like he said Drake is overrated. If you have a problem with it, come to one, two, three, four, five, Old Block Avenue. Like, what the fuck, nigga? Who gives a fuck? Like, who cares? Like, it, they're, the only privacy that's getting leaked out there is the fucking, the, the person's face at the very most, or the person's name, if they have their name and their username. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to be petty and find out who his girlfriend is or boyfriend or whoever it is, do that. But I, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's going that fucking far because of an opinion? And there are people out there, like I just said in my last take, there are people out there that go the extra mile to prove that you're wrong and to embarrass you because you're right. But, you know what I'm saying? No, there's no privacy. When you say something on public social media, you want to be social on the media, then guess what? You're going to make some more media. You're going to make some media somewhere else for being social. So when you see your name, when you see your face, as a matter of fact, there's a fellow YouTuber out here. I'm sure you, none of you have heard of because he's a big bitch. But uh, his name's David Shirley. Now... <laughs> Amir knows exactly what I'm talking about here. This is big <laughs> fucking... I, I forget what this term is called. I think it's called a bear. Fucking big, muscular, gay fucker. But he's a... he's a, And I have nothing against gay people, but I mean, it's just the way this nigga looks, okay? He looks like... Uh, you know what? Let me, let me stop myself, because you know what? It's going to get real offensive in here. And I want to be chaos culture in this podcast. If I do, this is, this is going to be the... The chaos, the boom in the chaos podcast. We on that's what the name is going to be. Stop calling this shit <laughs> that. The boom and the chaos. <laughs> I'm about to go to David Shirley channel so how this nigga look. <laughs> Man, he looks like I ain't seen this fucking, nigga in months. <laughs> you know what's funny? Someone commented and said this nigga looked like a formerly re- divorced dad or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said he said he looked like he'd be going through it in all his videos. I'm like, damn, he sure kind of do. He looked like a fucking alcoholic, alcoholic fucking bodybuilder. But Damn, dog. <laughs> you cutting this you going to this nigga throat, man. So you know what I'm saying? He he he's all in my fucking comment section talking about Nikki's the greatest and oh you're you're a misogynist. A man called me a misogynist. Crazy. This is usually the girls. So that's how I kind of figured he was gay first things first. But um yeah, niggas, you know what I'm saying? The nigga nigga is talking crazy. Nigga talking choppy, man. I'm watching his videos right now. This nigga is unnecessarily buff. Like, every muscle you could possibly have, like, to the max level, he already got it. He's still going to the gym. Like, this nigga, <laughs> like, you already won, bro. It. I don't understand it. Shit, check know, out that, his, that's, uh, that's your man, though. That shit funny. Shit, check out his earliest video. See, see, go, go and see what he's talking about. Um, I guarantee you, you're going to see a, 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 a very familiar name. But, uh, yeah. So, David Shirley, you know, he's a, he's a, you know what I'm saying, he's a barb, pretty much. So, I say, you know what, enough's enough, because I've seen this motherfucker attack enough of my subscribers. I've seen him say enough, you know what I'm saying, hypocritical things, enough things to where you're the big, you're the most toxic barb I've ran into, so you're special. I'm going to get, I'm going to name a whole video after you, David. A whole talking trash episode after David fucking shirt. Like, no one even knows this guy. I made him. If he's ever famous, I made him famous. Okay, so go on his channel. I look at who he is. I said, you know what? Yeah, who cares? He, 
I make a whole video about this guy. This guy jumps into my comment section and says, who, what gives you the right? I said, huh, funny. Because no one gave, because you have 100% rights to, to, to comment whatever you want in my comment section. And that's cool. And you out, like, you out at Usher and, and you know, defending Nikki, you out in Doja Cat, all these people. I'm sure they would, I'm sure if they knew who you were, they wouldn't mind, they would so wouldn't mind you talking about them, right? You see how hypocritical it is for, for you to call out people who are, you know what I'm saying? When, when, when it's your ass on the line, it's a problem. But you did not mind everyone else. You know what I'm saying? You did not mind doing it yourself. You, didn't, you don't mind doing it in your own, you know, leisure. He has a channel. He has a Twitter, which I unfortunately know. <laughs> when I log back in. I log back in, and to my, to my displeasure, I have a bunch of hate DMs from this fat fuck. But, you know, I'm seeing a whole bunch of hate. I'm like, you know what, dude? I'm just going to block you. I'm not even going to say shit. So, yeah, you're not private, bro. You're not, if you're not private, if you're not, you know what I'm saying, you're not, hey, at least DM somebody your, your displeasure or something like that. But if you, you go on knowing that you're about to go online and say something, dude, you're not, you're not, you're not private. It's public. Dude, that shit is far mm-hmm. from private, yeah, bro. That's why I can't stand, I can't stand that shit. People are like, oh, you should have blocked out their names. Like, I ain't got to block out shit. Like, if they didn't want other people to see it, they wouldn't have put it on the internet. That's the bottom line. Exactly. That's something that I will say to. I will say that to anybody, and I don't care. When you put a video on YouTube, that means that you do not care how many people in the world. YouTube was a fucking platform where billions, billions of people can potentially see a video. So to, for you to put something on fucking YouTube and to say I don't want, uh, I don't want other people seeing it. I don't want this to get out there. First of all, you wouldn't have never uploaded to YouTube in the first place. But secondly, if you really wanted it to be on the website for some reason, you would have made it unlisted or made it private. If you make a public video and then complain. That I didn't want other people to see it. That's the most contradicting shit in the universe. It honestly is. You're right about that. 